Hey guys, still here and welcome back to episode 13 of my Humankind series. I have just made it into the industrial era and it is now 1270 CE. I have just made it into this new era, but that means that there is a lot of stuff left to be done. Thankfully, I have a big bonus from the French and I now have 1760 signs per turn. So getting new stuff researched should be quick. And that's nice because I still need to get another 12 science projects completed in order to get my science star. If I can kill 14 military units, that's a military star. If I can earn <laughs> 62,000 money, I can get a merchant star. <laughs> that's not happening. Um, agrarian stars is just more pop. Builder stars, a whole load more. I think these are going to be increasingly difficult to get. Um, as I'm... Well... I continuously build new districts, but it feels like it's starting to peter out, considering that I don't have that many new cities. But I can get a new city. I have 7 out of 8 cities now. And that's actually great timing, because I might be able to claim a city once I complete the war against my western neighbors. First, though, we have a bit of a fight in the east. The Battle of Asalus Astralis. Well, again. My arquebusiers, halberdiers, and saboteurs are going up against their two great swordsmen and one arquebusiers, but they're full health. I'll manually command this one. Uh, my flag's over there. This guy is annoying over here. I probably cannot deploy the saboteurs yet. And deployment. Good lord. Calm down. Oh, they left? They left. That military unit over there is no longer with us. Excellent. Okay. That means that I can start to push back. But I'd rather do that from over here and call in the saboteurs. Oh, come on. Um, fine. Pull back. What? Still? Outside of your line of sight? Crap. Defend. I can put my halberdiers into this fight. And very, very seriously wound these great swordsmen here. Let's do it. It also makes these guys the frontline unit. Which means that they're going to take the attention from everyone. But I can probably survive that. There we go. Great swordsmen are attacking and dying. My arquebusiers here are going to be in trouble. And once again, the great swordsmen go on the offensive. I'm going to pull these guys back. I would love for them to survive. But it's going to be pretty difficult for them. Um, this does provide me with some cover. And then we got the saboteurs. The saboteurs will do some decent damage. And might be able to soak up some of the damage. Let's do it. Wow, they won? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Unexpected outcome, but I'll take it. <sighs> that hurt. Gentlemen. Um, pull these back. Pull these back. Pull these back. We're just going to have to go one on one. Battle will continue next turn. Very good. Over here, we have another ship. And considering that I have a bunch of Carracks, and you have a simple Halberdier, which decided to take to the waters, I can quickly eliminate you. Yep. They're leaving. Gift chase. Instant resolution. Target down. I'm also trying to get more signs, or sorry, more uh, militarist stars. Now, what do we have happening here? These guys were healed up. 
They cost me 106 per turn. Yikes. They got Nikaya down there. Let's make our way down there. How good is their war support? Still 25. Lion Rock Pop plus one. Chartered companies researched. I can now get the Cabinet of Curiosities for more science, the Stock Exchange for more money, and the Bank for more money. Their war support has dropped to 10. Very good. They're sullen. <laughs> I imagine they are. Sorry, buddy. This is happening. Fame? I'm still 700 points ahead. Good. And you are... Oh, you're the Teutons. Yeah, I have no beef with the Teutons at the moment. Let's continue down the coast then. See who else we can pick up here. Ooh, a harbor. That's free money. These guys. This might be pillageable. More science. Encyclopedia. Precedence. Reduce the influence cost of civics by 20%. Labor charter. Draw up. Drawn. Sorry, drawn up and signed in ink. The charter confirms that no worker will ever be forced to sacrifice their lives for the Empire's constructions. Prevents population from being consumed in order to complete constructions instantly. Yes. I agree with that. Uh, carbine. Mobile fast unit in the form of the Dragoons. And we get the steam engine. Minus 20% maker's quarter industry cost. Colony blueprint. Four pop start cost. Oh, sorry. Four uh, pop starting. We get coal. And we get the train station. Generates rail towards neighboring train stations. Rail allows units to travel instantly from one train station to another. Yes. I think that's a good option. The Howitzer and the Military School. Research Institute. That's just a flat out amount of fame. I'm not really hurting for fame. Let's go for the steam engine. And here we have our fight going on. My site is stronger overall. Yes. But mostly on paper because um, I'm overall not doing that great. Crap. Where did those saboteurs come from? That must be the unit that was in the water. Pull back. Oh, come on. Yeah, just shoot these guys. Because I think they're the most dangerous. But I'd hate to lose all these military units here. Yeah, they're just capturing my flag. Shit. That means I'm going to have to go back on the offensive. Much as I hate it. Halberdiers. Go. Outside of line of sight. I'm going to have to go all the way around. I can hurt them a lot, but I probably cannot kill them. Nevertheless, they need to go. Retake your flag. One round to take control of the capture point. Hold on, did they just charge me? Stay together. Position the battle. Take that flag back. Now my side is stronger overall, but that could have fooled me because... Uh, well, basically everything is dead or dying on my side. I can still very much lose this fight. And I probably will. I might have more units, but they're all so low health. We're gonna end, or we're gonna continue the next turn. Great. Um, pop loss. Yes, that's fine. This fight. Yeah, they just eliminated my guys. Uh. I would love for them to come down from there. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this. Let 
Where's their flag? Oh, they're coming down. Oh, dear. Uh, do as much as you can, but I don't think we'll win this. Yeah. No, what? I won? Wow. I lost three military units in the progress, or in the process, but I did win the fight. How did they pull that off? How did they lose that? Alright, let's go and use this ATM. I mean, loot this harbor. And over here... We're gonna do a little bit more annoying of my westernly neighbors. The separation of powers. Religious community participation has been waning for years as the empire's cultural strength grows. And now is the right time to remove religious authority from political power. Should religion solely become a matter of personal faith, though, or does it still have part of play in civic society? I don't think I can manage this, because I need 14,000 influence to manage it. But I would very heavily go for state atheism. Replaces the current state religion with atheism. Lose the ability to build holy sites or pick tenants. That's fine. All religious civics are locked, and some invested influence is reimbursed. Yeah, but I need 14,000 in order to get that. So, not anytime soon. Ah, hello. What are my chances to pillage that? Not great. I can lay siege, but the chances of winning that are slim to none. Well, not strictly true. It depends on when they decide to go on the offensive. If they decide to launch a sortie against my siege, they will probably be able to hold and kill me. The first ransack. I wouldn't call it elegant, but it may teach them to keep their doors locked. Okay, guys, carry on. Because these things are up for grabs. Oh, hi. Hello. We're going to kill these off. I need to reduce their war support. They got... Two Varingian guards. Up. 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 Or rather, there. This way the horses are in the water. It's not ideal, but... For now it's probably the best position. And I get to shoot first. Minus 22. We're going to continuously wound one of them. Oh, I can't. That's half of them gone. That's going to be very painful to the Haras. Yeah, let's not. That hurt me a lot more than it did them. It's probably because there's a river in my territory. Eliminate. Uh, yeah, get out. Crap. Start pushing on their flag. Get over here. Your move. No, I really don't want to attack. Thank you very much. Minus 41. Ouch. Eliminate. I don't think those shields are going to do much against gunpowder. Down. Job done. War support increased by 8. And their war support has probably dwindled to nothing. They're down to 4. At this point, I think I need to kill one more military unit and then I can get it. Pop loss in Babylon. Babylon keeps bobbing up and down. There we go. They're about to lose their war support. The Hodonos... What? Why? The Hodonosoni have declared war on the Teutons. <laughs> but why? The Hodonosoni has gained renown as a warrior. Really? 
While having this badge, its owner loses less war support from occupations. You mean... <laughs> I have the thief badge. <laughs> Which means I earn more if I start pillaging more. <laughs> diplomatic badge and more diplomatic badge. Well... I don't think I'm going to earn any diplomatic badges anytime soon. But uh, let's resolve this war, shall we? Because I can force them into a surrender. And I can tell them to give me a city. Unfortunately, I don't have enough war support. Enough war score to turn them into a vassal. So, let's see. What sort of territories do they have? I cannot select any of these. But I can say that I want a Salus Tertius. That's that entire territory. Uh, Gakid. I think that's the only ones that are available to me. So, I'll take both. Thank you very much. Plus 350 reparation. Or I can say you can keep everything and I can take 2400. No, I'm going to force them to surrender. I can tell you that our gratitude is boundless. War support depleted. But I have claimed a lot of their territory. More importantly, with a city limit improved, I can turn Gakid into a city next turn. And I start adding stuff to it. Because I got this one, that one, basically everything that's not tied to the mask. Let's see, is this a, a reasonable spot, Kakiid? Oh, it's not terrible. Acellus Turches. 5, 4, 2, and 2. Avior? Avior is pretty bad. Pretty barren. This might be a better place. Masim. But I do like the more centralized position of Gakiet better. Might not be the best spot, but I'm going to do that anyway. Now, this means I can start relocating my fleet over to here. That's going to take them a good long time to get there. Hold on a moment. What's with all this? The poles are still out in force. I want you guys to... Um... No, I don't want to do battle for the gear much. We're going to upgrade you. And I want you to heal up urgent. There. These guys... Upgrade... To musketeers. If they want to fight with those wounded Archibusiers, they're welcome to. We're going to do that on my turn and my turf. Skip one turn. I want to check back in there in a second. Uh, this whole group... Ooh, that's going to take me a long time to relocate. 15 turns. Still, they need to get there. One way or another. What? Shit. I'm going to have to go all the way back. Oh, I'm stuck inside their borders. Can we please have open borders? I have a Refused. I, think I can turn that into a crisis. Very but basically, my two ships are stuck. That sucks. Um, is there anything that I can do to make these people a little bit less angry with me? No. They're still hate-filled. Okay, well, you guys are just going to have to be kind of stuck there then. I don't like it, but I don't see a way out. A new wonder can be claimed. The Taj Mahal is in ah, the Taj is complete. If you want to be together forever, it's hard to choose a nicer place. There it is. The Taj. Um, with my influence, I do not yet want to claim a new wonder. As much as it is appealing to immediately pick the Statue of Liberty. I first want to get that town upgraded. This one. The town of Paris. The town of Paris. And I can build the exhibition hall for more science, but this thing does not have anything yet. So first, more food. And if I can afford it, let's attach a territory here. Oh, this one's still up for grabs. Yes, please. 
Yes, please. 240. I still have that. 14 and 12 or 13 and 13. That's even. I'll take this. Barani. So I can attach that to Paris eventually as well. And turn Paris into a nice and big territory. Okay. Um, tell me, where have you guys gone? Oh, you decided to come back to your side. That's a triple stack of crossbowmen. Okay, it's not too bad. Station. <sighs> These ships are stuck. Can I delete? No, I cannot even delete them. <laughs> um, they're completely stuck. I have nowhere to go. You must pay me to keep my wolves at bay. You made a claim on Barani, correct? And I'm sticking with it. Demand, give Barani. I don't think so. Oppressing the faithful. Give a Celis Turches. No. Not happening. Horikanga completed helping on the Taj. So now let's see if I can get a whole bunch more money. Um, let's go with the bank. Customs farm. No. Oh, I think I need to get another building before I can get the bank. Plus two on traders. That's not a whole lot that I'm getting. Plus three on nine plaza. Let's go for that first. Damask. More money. Or actually, saltpeter mine. Here. Any others that I overlooked? Here. Knock. Knock is not that good for science, but pretty good for money. So let's assume that they want to continue with that. Food market. My keen. Again, we're going to focus on money here. I want to get the commodity market. Plus two for traders. I don't have that many traders. Food market. Market quarter plus adjacent market quarter. Uh, I have a few of those. So that should be decent. Babylon itself. The porcelain manufactory. Plus 50 fame and construction. Plus 3 money per adjacent money quarter. And I can do that only there. I'll do it. It's going to disable the artisan quarter. That's fine. Then we get Sipar. We can get a lead manufactory or a silver manufactory, or both rather. Extract resources on silver. There. Yep. And Nosos does not have any. Well, no, it does. It has a saffron manufactory over there. Yep. The Teutons have reached the medieval era. <laughs> oh no. They are two eras behind. Steam engine researched. Excellent. Excellent. Um, these guys have set up that new outpost, which I can attach to Paris. And that's an expansionist star. Excellent. Moving right on. Because these guys were supposed to join the war effort. Far, far, far away. These ships just, I don't know, maintain your position. The city of Paris has completed their farmer's quarter. There really is still a small place. Very, very small place. Fix that. Fix the coal. Get that, get that. Can I touch any more? Yeah, for a thousand and thirty. I don't have that much. Yet. Pressing matters. Every year, the great population of your empire, contended in their essential needs, clamor for more and more titillating news stories. It's become clear that, should you choose, these stories could help shape public perceptions. Um, yeah, that's interesting. But I am a bit low on influence after working that city. Mercantilism, more money. 
Manufactory. No, we're going to do more science stuff. Symposium. Fertilizer plants and standardized units. Minus 20% on research corridor industry costs. Propeller. Ironclad. Steam frigate. Ooh, we get so much new stuff now. I do want to get this. Because, well, I'm doing pretty much a science, not rush, but uh, definitely a science move. So I think it's only right. Let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, the ships. I think the ships are taking damage because they're no longer in my space. Yeah, they're trespassing. The thing is, I cannot get them out. Oppressing the faithful, oppressing my people. <laughs> Suck it. I'm not going to give in to your demands. Give Paris? I don't think so. At this rate, we're going to be at war with them very soon. I might need to keep this stack near Paris. Instead of sending it over to the east. Let's not turn our attention to their demands too much. Not yet. Damask has completed their saltpeter mine. I can still get the mercury manufactory somewhere here. My keen completed their food market. I'm now at 590 money per turn. That's good, but we can do better. Ongoing trade. Yep. Babylon. I think Babylon needs a bit more food. There. Worked out. Sipar. Completed constructing their silver manufactory. They still had access to a lead manufactory over there. Yes. Hold. Damask completed their mercury manufactory and I can now get the train station. Um, if I can get a train station there and a train station in Paris, I can very, very quickly relocate units between these two cities. So let's do it. Oh, hold on. The train station is not part of the city. The train station can be anywhere. In that case, I want to have a train station there. Pretty much on my front line. That's going to be useful. Coffee manufactory. Over... Here. A city of 20 territories. If this keeps up, the whole planet is going to be someone's backyard. <laughs> Civics Osmosis, minus 50% on create outpost costs. Uh, no. Ah, it's going to destabilize Paris substantially. No. So be it. So be it. You guys get to hold. Sipar. Completed that. I'm just ticking 50 fame every turn that I built one of these. That's really nice. Um, what else would I like? I can get access to the exhibition hall. Maybe that's a good one. Plus two research per science. Oh, sorry, plus two science per silver. And just more science per, per research quarter. 41. That's a big chunk of science. Hold your position. Basically die slowly. There's nothing I can do to pull them out. Where's my coal mine? Here. My keen. <clears throat> you have completed building your customs farm. Money 726 per turn. Keep pushing that. Commodity market. Nozzles. Completed their saffron manufactory. Uh, if I can get a train station somewhere here in the north, I can again help with relocating units very quickly. 
Let's say somewhere there. The first train stations link up. Connect distant lands. Transfer goods and travelers at unthinkable speeds. Hopefully, the lounge car is well stocked. The pollution panel allows you to monitor your current pollution and pollution output. Plus five pollution from the French. How is that going to affect me in the long run, I wonder? I probably won't like it. But so be it. That's the city of Paris. So the first train station has been completed here. Yep, train station. Excellent. Alright, well, this is going to be the end of the episode. It's been another half hour. We made quite a bit of progress, and now it's time to move on. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I shall see you soon for the next episode.